Alrighty. Looks like we're gonna get into it. Alrighty, so we go. Under game one here. One, get the uh, layout pulled up. We're gonna be seeing K. Rule versus Mega Man here in Winter Semis for King Robo and Pete Bro. Definitely a matchup I don't think I've seen all too often. But we'll see how both of these uh, players do here. We'll be starting out on PS2, a stage that most characters tend to like. I feel like uh, both of these characters you know, are content with also kind of sitting back. And PS2 gives them a decent amount of spaces. Oh, okay. I thought Pipo wasn't going to be able to recover there as King Robo tries to intercept that overextension with a potential down air. Back air, excuse me. Not going to work just yet. Pipro now at 123, and oh, up B's right into the cannonball, and falls into another one, so King Robo, take this first stock here, already has the early lead. Crown cannonball, yeah, as I say, now King Robo, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to, you know, sit back, you know, just kind of zone a little more, try and force Pipro to approach. I like these, uh... Approaches that they're doing with the uh, the rush, like jumping off of it. Both of these uh, characters have you know pretty unique projectiles. So it's always nice to see how players are able to be creative with them. Like yeah, he like yeah jumps on rush, calls the uh, leaf shield, and then like is that a wave bounce? I think it's a wave bounce. Could be wrong. Anyways, yeah. That being said, King Robo's been doing fairly well in neutral here. As they catch Peeper with the dash attack, and just like that, King Robo's now up three stocks to one. Can he put off stage here? Metal Blade not gonna work in charge shot. No, that's not charge shot. Mega Buster? I think it's Mega Buster. I just immediately thought of charge shot because the move was charging. Anyways, it's not gonna hit, so King Robo's still alive at 154. Oh, and Nair! The, uh, the belly armor gonna help them get through that uh, that upper there. You see, Pipro desperately trying to find you know any sort of setup is the 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 wind <laughs> like the the, the sucking hitbox of the blunderbuss comboed into the cannonball and King Robo working on a potential three stock here catches the air dodge to ledge. So King Robo with a three stock gonna take game one just like that. Wow. That was really nice. Yeah, I know that was kind of unexpected. I didn't expect uh, King Robo to really pull away with that, but that was. Uh, we'll see how we uh, Pipro adapts and responds here in game two. You know, that's one of the hard things about playing against you know bigger characters. If you're not able to like consistently get kills or figure out how to get kills, they might be able to kind of. Will, you know, snowball up a, a nice lead because Heavy's do a good job with Rage's Pro. I don't know if they wanted to input that uh, up tilt, but Robo's gonna punish punish them for it. And Pro already in the corner, sitting at 73%, finally gets something to connect on Robo. You see, Pro getting back to center stage. Trying to keep Robo out is- Oh, I like the, the idea. Robo tried to read neutral get up. Maybe a potential roll too with that down smash. Only got the sour spot though, but... Still doing fairly well. Peepro, you know, climbing their way back into it and King Robo gets the down throw. Times that up smash correctly. And they're gonna take the first stock here. Forward air, cut. That forward throw dash attack. Dash attack not gonna connect, but a quick 30 on the board for, for King Robo. Peepro, yeah, once again, up tilt not gonna work. 
King Robo is kind of on the uh, the ledge here. I wonder how well Mega Man like edge guards, because I feel like it's kind of hard to edge guard K. Roll. You have to get you know from the sides, and people have really only been able to ledge trap so far. And Robo's done a good job mixing up the options so they can't get hit by it. But at least you're gonna put them on the platform. King Robo unable to get a potential tech case follow up, and gets the Mega Buster to go through the crown. So. Keeper bringing it back to two stops apiece. Sitting at 91% kind of needs to be careful. As King Robo going to punish that F-Smash with the grab. Unable to get a follow-up from it, though. Keeper now sitting at 119%. Needs to be careful how they land here. That was a good job going high and landing with the down airs to avoid the, uh, the blunder bus. But only sitting at 15%, doing such a good job with their mobility. You know, just how they're like how well they've been able to move around Mega Man projectiles. As King Robo takes that second stock. And the armor gonna help them get through. Oh! Oh, that, that would have been funky. They were gonna see like a item combo of sorts. <laughs> Anyways, uh P Pro. No. Doing a good job so far, actually. Trying to, you know, just tack on extra percent to King Robo. So he gets the uh, Metal Blade into F-Smash. Has the crown, too. That's always helpful. Down air, not able to connect. I think they're looking for a two-frame, but they Peepro reads the roll. Gets the up tilt, so... One stock apiece now. And that's not a bad deficit at all. 68% is honestly mad nice. Air. Put Peepro off stage. We're just trying to make their way in here. Is he at forward air? Oh, can't get another one to connect. Might be a down throw. Uh oh. And once again, King Robo. Reading the mashup with that up smash. Gonna go up 2 0 now on the set. Like we're going back to game three. Wonder what the stage pick is gonna be in terms of like a counter pick, but we'll see. Peepro still sticking with Mega Man. Three, it's like Town and City gonna be the stage this time around. Go! King Robo gonna get the jab there, catches the Metal Blade, and combos off of it. That was a really nice catch and throw there. Just like that, Peepro at 79% already. King Robo is doing such a good job in advantage state. You know, usually with big characters, you expect them to get like one or two hits, kind of move from there. But K. Roll is kind of unique. You know, he has the armor, has the counter, has the projectiles, and King Robo, you know, doing a fairly good job here in advantage state. As they read that, you know, that neutral tech and get the dash attack. Not going to kill just yet, but. Up air will off the top, so King Robo striking first once again. Let's see that narrative jab. Oh, Keep Bro dropping shield just a little too early there. There, King Robo. Doing a good job with these nares. Gets the back throw. Almost killed there. Oh my goodness. Town and City. Yeah, th these nares are doing such a good job at pushing Peeper away. And I keep King Robo's doing a really great job at using them. Yeah. Lots of smart uses of their options. This Peeper, though, has center stage. Might potentially get the stock here. But that belly, you know, that armor on the crown. Gonna save King Robo from taking any knockback on the, uh... I forget what- Crash Bomber. That's what it is. And King Robo with another dash attack. These dash attacks are really smart too, because, you know, it is a nice burst option. 
as oh my goodness the turnaround blunderbuss king robo with the spike too my goodness just <laughs> reading every option like a book king robo gonna be moving on to winner's finals with an another 3-0 here the side of top eight i like blinked and peepro was dead wow